So we all know how vital our blood supply is. So what if we were able to freeze our blood and use it years later? Just think about how big of an impact that would have. Uh, it could be incredible for so many reasons. And two years ago, it was just an idea. But today it is becoming a real thing, all thanks to a group of researchers at the University of Louisville. Yeah. Cool. Others have tried it, but few have come this close to solving our nation's shortage of blood supply and saving lives. It's actually amazing how much progress we made. That's U of L's Michael Menz, who's working with a group of engineers and biologists to prolong the shelf life of our red blood cells. Blood can only be stored for 42 days at refrigeration. It's why there always seems to be a shortage of blood supply in hospitals. You donate blood hoping it goes to someone in need. But if it doesn't get used within those 42 days, it's wasted. But what if that wasn't the case? Meet Jonathan Kopacek. This is a freeze dryer that we've been using for our research. With his method, the group has found a way to freeze dry blood using the right preservative. This is the device that loads that sugar into the red blood cell. Our process is the first one that we're aware of that can safely get enough sugar in to protect the cells when they're frozen and then later dried uh, without destroying them in the process. Once the sugar is added, the blood samples are put into a freezer, sitting at a chilly negative 112 degrees Fahrenheit. Then this machine acts as a vacuum, pumping out the remaining water vapor from the blood. You're left with this. This is basically a powdered dry blood. This has been stored for almost six months now. Bringing it back to life is as simple as adding water. Samples have already been tested with rats and it's working. We could save many, many lives. There is still a ways to go, but the hope is to have this available for humans in the next five years. One group in particular could be using it much earlier. Up to 80% of all preventable deaths in the battlefield is due to blood loss. Menz says the military is showing some real interest. A warfighter on the battlefield doesn't have an option. They don't have a refrigerator, you know, 10 feet away with blood in it. So for them, about halfway through clinical trials, they might uh, authorize emergency use. So if somebody's on the battlefield, they're losing blood and they have no other chance of survival, then they can take an experimental treatment where they receive a rehydrated blood transfusion. A blood that, while frozen in this state, could stay viable under any temperature for years, if not decades or longer. Hopefully they will never need it. But if they do, it can make a you know, the difference between whether they come back or not. Incredible it really research is. happening right there at U of L. They're finishing up their clinical tests with rats, then they'll move on to pigs before people. And you have those institutions like NASA, the NSF, and the National Institutes of Health who are big supporters and funders of this project. And as they mentioned, the military mm -hmm. really watching closely. Yeah, 80%. Right 80% no. preventable deaths if they just had blood right there and any weather. You could be in Afghanistan at 145 degrees and that would hold up. Could change the world. Yeah. Book, thanks.